Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial on how to set up and use price rules in QuickBooks Online. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I wanted to show you in this video, there's a, a relatively new uh, feature in QuickBooks Online called price rules, and I want to go through how to set those up and how to use them in your QuickBooks Online file. All right, so this is similar to price levels in QuickBooks Desktop, and so now you have the ability to uh, set up different uh, price rules in QuickBooks Online. So let's go through this. So what you're going to do in your QuickBooks Online file, go up to the gear icon, going to go to account and settings. All right, go over to sales and you're going to see under products and services, uh, and this is in QuickBooks Online Plus. Okay, so you should see turn on price rules. All right, and if you click on this, it says Price rules allow you to provide discounts for specific products to certain customers for a specified amount of time, okay? Now, it does actually let you do a little more than that, so I wanna show you that in this video and, and how to use those. All right, so we check that, we click Save, we go over here to Done, all right? So now we have price rules turned on. All right, so I wanna give you two examples here of how you can use this. All right, so the first thing is we wanna go up here to the gear icon. You're gonna to go to all lists right here. All right, and you're gonna now see price rules that show up. So if you click on price rules, you'll see here that you don't have any rules set up, so you wanna create a rule. All right, so the first thing that you can do is, you know, if you're, if you're running a promotion, you know, that's applicable to all customers, and this is the first example I'm gonna use, uh, you can, uh, let's say 10% off holiday sale. All right. So we're going to say that this is for, let's say the 4th of July and it starts today, uh, the 3rd and it ends on Friday. Okay. So now this will be applicable the way we have this set up now. It's only going to run from July 3rd to July 5th and it's going to be applicable to all customers all products and services, set sales price or rate by percentage. Okay, so you can choose, you've got percentage, amount, custom price per item. We're gonna say percentage, this is across the board. Okay, we're going to decrease by 10%, and then you can choose to round or not round. So we're gonna say no, this is just a flat across the board 10%. So we click apply. It applies it and it's going to show you the adjusted price. Now you can go in and change each one of these if you'd like, but this just applies it across the board to everything. So we hit save and close. All right, so now we've got this price rule. So what do we do with this? Now, if we go over to sales and we create invoices, I want to show you that if we create a new invoice, all right, and we choose any customer, let's say it's cool cars. All right, and we say that we are going to do uh, design. You'll see now that the rate is 67.50. Now, one thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't show what I would prefer to see is that it shows, uh, you know, a line item $75 and then a separate line item, you know, 10% off holiday sale, uh, the, you know, down to 67.50 and it shows you the difference. That way it, it, it shows the customer that, hey, you're getting this discount on the sale. It doesn't at this point. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is a step in the right direction. Okay, so it does this across the board, all right? So let me, I'm going to close this because I want to go back to set up a, uh, a price rule. All right, so I'm going to go back to the gear icon and go to uh, all lists and again, go back to my price rules. Okay, so this first price rule, this is applicable to, to uh, every customer across the board. Now, what... I like about this, and I'm starting to play around with the flexibility of this. Again, this is new, but starting to play around with it, is let's say that we have a new price rule, all right? So similar to price levels in QuickBooks Desktop, if we say that we want to now segment our clients between, let's say, commercial and residential. So if a residential customer gets, you know, just a normal list price and a commercial customer gets you know, an automatic 5% off, we want to say this price rule is called commercial. Okay, we're going to put in a start date, but we're not going to put in an end date. You don't have to put in an, in an end date, and you really don't have to put in the start date. Now, 
here, what you're going to do is you're going to say select individual customers. All right. So you're going to go in and you're going to add the customers that this applies to. A little bit cumbersome, but you know, you're going to go through and say, okay, these are all uh, commercial customers that we are going to apply this to. So you're going to go through, add your customers. And then you're going to go through and add your products and services. Now, if it's applicable to all your products and services, that's fine. You can leave that up here or you can choose individually, all services, all inventory design. You can pick individual items. So we're going to say in this case that this is uh, commercial customers and they get percentage decrease 5% off. All right. And we're not going to round. So we click apply. And so now this 5% discount is only going to be applicable to these three customers because we have specified that this rule applies to these commercial customers. All right, so we're going to click save and close. So now two things I want to show you on an invoice is one, we've got this discount for commercial customers, but we, we also have a conflicting price rule. And so I want to show you how to resolve that on the invoice. So let's go back to invoices and I want to click on new. All right. So we're going to click one of those commercial customers. Let's say it's bills, windsurf shop, product and service. We're going to say design, custom design. All right. Now you're going to see here because we have these two conflicting rules. This is a commercial customer and we're running a sale. You've got this exclamation point that says there are multiple price rules that apply to this product or customer. If you click the rate drop down box, you're going to see default sales rate 75 and the two price rules, 10% off holiday sale commercial. We'll say right now this is commercial and then it's going to show it here, right? So when you have those conflicting rules, uh, you're going to have to choose which rate applies to this customer. All right. So then we'd save and send and close it and send it off to the customer. Now, what my hope is that you will realize is that when you go to uh, the price rules. All right. There are a lot of things that you can do with this. All right. So I highly suggest you play around with it. Okay. So you can set up, you know, essentially different price levels for different customers and you can set all those up. You can run sales. Uh, you can increase prices for certain customers. You know, if they are classified as a certain type of customer, you can increase that price. You can round it. You can do a dollar amount. You can run a sale on one specific product or one specific service for a specified amount of time. So there's there appears to be a lot of variations you can do with these price rules. And uh, this can give you a lot of flexibility in your business in QuickBooks Online. All right, any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, ha happy to answer those. And would love to hear how you're playing around with price rules as well. So leave a comment uh, down below. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. Would love to have you join me over there as a member. A member is somebody who purchases my training tutorials. And with that, uh, it's a one-time fee. And with that, I also answer their personal QuickBooks questions. Any very specific questions, I've also done uh, specific videos for individual members to show them in their file how to do something. So head over there now, qbuniversity.org.